China is America's most consequential geopolitical challenge. That from National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan in a speech earlier this week. The comments, part of a larger foreign policy shift, focusing on the threats posed by China and Russia. But while Sullivan identified China as the United States' most consequential competitor, he also said the Biden administration is not looking for a new Cold War with our largest trading partner. Sullivan says the administration wants to engage constructively with China. It comes as the country is set to hold one of the most pivotal political events in years this Sunday. China's National Congress set to propel Chinese President Xi Jinping into a historic third term. With the reaction in Beijing, here's CNBC's Eunice Yoon. Beijing is preparing for China's most important political event in a decade. Security around the capital is what officials have described as iron fist tight for the week-long 20th Congress of the Chinese Communist Party, when the world will find out who governs this country for the next five years. Xi Jinping has been the party's general secretary for two five-year terms. He's expected to break modern precedent here and stay in charge for a third. President Xi is expected to emerge with even greater power than he already has. And that's despite tremendous problems facing China today, a severe economic downturn and troubled relationship with the U.S. But with Xi in control, China's hardline approach is unlikely to change. Ahead of the Congress, his outgoing team praised their boss's policies, including zero COVID, what they described as his all-out war to bring infections near zero with relentless testing and snap lockdowns. Amid this orchestrated event, video surfaced online of a protest to Xi Jinping's rule. Two banners unfurled on a Beijing bridge in smoke. We don't want COVID tests. We want food, this one reads. The other urges to depose the dictator. Today, police tightly patrolled the bridge. After clearing any sign of the rare show of public frustration with Xi Jinping and where he's taking China. Security guards have been stationed at several bridges around the city this morning. The authorities here are so sensitive about the potential for protests that online even the word Beijing is being censored. Kayla? Eunice Yoon, you'll be there for us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.